Cryogen. Sample to Inside. Hi there, my name is Jan Andreu. I'm working in the Department of Research and Development uh, in Life Science at Kaijin. Me and my team are working on development technology for NGS applications. Today I would like to share with you a workflow that um, enables you to copy number variation studies from single cells and it's using the workflow from a new developed kit, the Kaisic FX single cell um, DNA library kit, together with low pass sequencing. Uh, so let me talk first about the copy number variations. Copy number variations, they are um, a structural var a variation of the genome. Um, normally uh, they are deletions or duplications of um, uh, a distinct number of base pairs and, um, they have a play and may play a very important role uh, in the progression and the development the progression of cancer, but also uh, to other human disorders. How this analysis has been performed by now is uh, used by using array comparative genomic hybridization assays, but um, they are very limited due to um, a low resolution. Um, with NGS analysis, we believe to have um, a method and an opportunity to characterize copy number variations genome-wide with a very high resolution. For this work, we have used uh, the Kaisic FX DNA library kit. Um, this kit includes um, reagents and protocol for, uh, to perform a whole genome amplification out of single cells, followed by library preparation. The whole genome amplification process uh, it's an MDA-based process and the protocol is optimized in to deliver up to 40 microgram amplified DNA in only two hours. So um, the uh, WGCA is followed by a fragmentation of the DNA that takes place in one tube uh, with end polishing of the fragments and then you have to add the adapt adapter ligation mix with the adapters in order to complete the library. So um, there are no intermediate steps um, uh, that um, lead to any material loss and at the end you don't need to, to, to perform PCR amplification of the library since the amounts of the WCA product they are very high and we can start the library operation with a very high amount of DNA. Looking now at the sample to inside workflow while working with single cells, uh, we are starting with a primary sample isolation going, uh, going then to the single cell isolation. So with the, uh, with the Kyogen FS, um, FX single cell DNA library kit, we are having a complete um, single cell to library solution. You can start the library, um, the amplification of the library out of single eukaryotic cells or bacterial cells or from a few picogram uh, of purified DNA. Mm -hmm. After the whole genome amplification and library preparation, you have uh, a whole genome NCS library that is compatible uh, with all Illumina platforms. Um, it allows you to do studies uh, of sequence uh, variants and structural variants, but also studies uh, for un unemployity and uh, bacterial genome studies or edification of bacterial genomes. What I show you here is the genome coverage. Um, what we have here is the maximum achievable uh, genome coverage above this point. Um, additional sequencing effort with, uh, will not cover the proportion, uh, additional proportion of genome. Um, here we can see that with the Kaisic single cell DNA library we get a higher maximum, uh, a higher genomic coverage and this is independent of the sequencing length uh, because uh, the library is very high complex. This is something we cannot achieve with the other two libraries since they are PCR based methods. On the right side of this panel we can see the even genomic coverage. What, the, what we have done here is we have sequenced primary blood monocytes, single cells, um, sequences at low depth and uh, after sequencing on the MySeq we have analyzed the data using the CLC software. Uh, what, we can, uh, what we are plotting here is the normalized coverage in 100 base pair beans that have distinct, uh, different uh, DC content. What we see here is that we have um, uh, a very even uh, coverage with the Kaisic FX kit, while with the competitor libraries here we have underrepresented high DC uh, content um, regions. Um, high, the series regions might be very important for people that are studying uh, bacterial cells with a high genome, with a, a high GC content. And what we can see here that with our Kaisic FX single cell uh, library kit, we obtained an even genomic coverage that is very close to an unamplified material. 
So the next point I would like to go in is the fidelity um, uh, of um, the library preparation. Um, here we have um, sequenced again single cells um, using different, the different um, kits. Um, and after um, uh, sequencing, we have mapped um, uh, the data, the reads uh, on the human genome. And what I'm showing you here is um, the, the proportion of mismatches that we have uh, while um, aligning, while mapping the uh, reads to the reference genome. We can see here that we have a very low um, uh, percentage of error rates of, of mismatches to the uh, reference genome uh, with the Kaisik FX uh, single cell DNA library kit, uh, while we have very high error rates using the other PCR based kits. Um, what does it mean? Um, of course, um, some of these um, mismatches will represent polymorphisms or mutations that are in the genome we are studying. But if you look here at the difference, um, the most of the other um, will be actually um, mismatches that are coming from the library preparation and will have um, uh, strongly affects in the, anal in the downstream analysis since they will increase the background um, while performing calling of variants and um, will uh, result to a lot of uh, false positive results. Um, let us um, take a closer look now uh, how this kit is working while wanting to detect subchromosomal copy number variations. What we have done uh, here is uh, we have uh, prepared libraries from single blood monocytes and jerkat cells. The PPM says here they are, uh, uh, they are our control cells because they are known to be diploid. And we have uh, sequenced them uh, on MySeq at low depths, point X. And after that, uh, we have analyzed the results uh, using um, a script that we have found um, in, the, in the literature by, and it's published by C et al. And what we are uh, showing you here is um, uh, the log2 uh, ratio of coverage um, jurkat cells to PBMCs. Um, and we have counted this coverage um, in beans of uh, 500 KB. And what, what we can see here, we can detect a uh, deletion on chromosome 2 of about 25 megabase. Let me conclude now and um, we have what I've presented with this poster is a complete single uh, cell to library workflow that delivered whole genome NGS libraries in a streamlined and optimized workflow. The Kaiasek Affix single cell DNA library kit delivers a very high um, um, genome coverage, uh, delivers a greater si sequence fidelity and allows uh, you to do variant calling without uh, having a very high background. It's a completely PCR-free uh, cell-to-library protocol, that means we have less sequence bias. Um, you can prepare libraries out of single cells in under four hours, so this is a very fast protocol. And it has compatibility with eukaryotic and bacterial cells. And the um, NGS libraries we are uh, delivering, and also the amplified genomic DNA, they are, have so high yields that you can uh, that they can be archived and uh, they can be used uh, afterwards for um, dif uh, by different other types of analysis. Um, so um, all in all, the Kaiasek Affix Single Cell DNA Library Kit enables the detection of both aneuploidy and subchromosomal copy number variation. And regardless of their position in the genome, since we are we are doing the detection genome wide and um, it provides us a maximum sequence fidelity, minimizes false positives and um, uh, during the analysis of variants uh, from the same uh, data set. If you need further uh, information about these products, uh, you can visit our webpage uh, at www.kaizen.com.